My name's Steve Spiker from the OpenShift team. I'm going to show you uh, working with OpenShift version 3, so specifically beta 4, and, uh, and using it from Eclipse with some of the JBoss EAP examples. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead from my web console, create a project to work with. Um, I'm going to use uh, create from uh, GitHub URL, so I've created a fork of the kitchen sink example. I'm going to choose JBoss EAP6. I'm going to take all the defaults. And a project's been created and also uh, the application. So I'm going to just step over to the look at the build and kick that off. And coming back to the Eclipse client, I can see I have already connected through the OpenShift Explorer view. Um, I have a previous uh, version 2 connection. I created a new version 3 connection to my uh, staging server. Uh, I'll go ahead and refresh this so I can see the new project. And here I can see uh, the fact that there's the, uh, the kitchen sink example I just uh, started. So let's go ahead and uh, import the application here. Grab the build config from the sync project, which has just been created. Uh, go ahead and it's discovered that there's a, a Git repository associated with it, and it's going to clone it for me. And then uh, the build will be kicked off. Well, this is running, I can go through and set up the uh, webhook so that when uh, any commits are pushed to my fork, it will go ahead and kick off the build. So I'll switch over to GitHub here to my fork. I'll go to settings, webhooks, and services, add webhook. Here's my webhook. Just disable SSL for now. And that's it. It should work to kick off the build. While I'm over here and my local build is finished, I can I do what I would normally do as a JBoss developer. I can do a run as, run on server. Uh, I can pick local instance started up, I can uh, navigate into the source code, make a change as needed. So made the changes locally here. I'll go ahead and refresh and see. I see the changes have been made. Now I can turn around and do a team commit. Getting ready to make that change. I'll come over here and see that this build is completed. I can open a new tab. I can see the same application running there. So I'll leave this window open here. I'll do a commit push.
can see the build has kicked off based on my uh, webhook that had been configured. And uh, shortly, the build will complete. The changes that were involved, included in my commit will be uh, built and then deployed and available. Uh, so that uh, concludes the demo. That's being able to uh, create a project, um, set up uh, from a GitHub repository, um, put in a webhook so that's kicked off uh, a build whenever commits occur, testing changes locally uh, with my uh, typical JBoss app server setup, and then uh, uh, push things to a remote integration slash test server.